You gotta keep him awake. Get us out of here, Harry! You said this was handled! You said this was handled! Take that fucking door off! My money. He went, mm -hmm. Thought it was our money. It's my store, Carlos. My store. Every time I, every time I give you a loan, it's like an IOU. But this is a new loan. Wait, are you accusing me of stealing your money? Why do you look surprised? You do it for a living. Uh, where do you get that balls? You know, what I do for this family? I risk my life. Yeah, you risk your life and then you piss it up a wall. Mija, come here. I love you. Huh? Listen to your mother, even though she's crazy, huh? She's always crazy. Always crazy. Come here. I love you. Always true. Always true. <laughs> Just let me out! Let me out! No way. We're sticking to the plan. I should eat something. Does that hurt? At. Hmm? Pop. Pop, pop. You need to do something with makeup. Makes me feel bad to look at that. That makes me feel bad, too. Come here, love. to forget. <laughs> a book? Well, <laughs> a book was something you read to your son, my son Jack. Stand up, Jack. Stand up, my son. The best candidate for Alderman of the 18th Ward. He's your man. Believe me. Love you too. When I was a kid, I used to help out with my dad's campaign. It uh, looked a lot like this. Uh, except a little wider, I imagine. Yeah. You mind? <laughs> Please do. My father always thought it was a good idea to keep the lines of communication open with his opponent, you know, keep things honest, dignified. Well, maybe he could be more honest and open about whatever deal he made with the city council to call this special election instead of waiting until February, like the law says. He had to step down, and he had a heart attack. Who does waiting serve? Everyone who's not named Mulligan? <laughs> First time I've run for office, I'm already ahead of you by 12 points in the polls. The Mulligans have run the 18th Ward for 60 years. My grandfather, my father, these days it's all about name recognition. And you want to go against me? 
You don't inherit a ward, Jack. You run for it. You have much experience in government? I live here. So do I. No, no, no. You, um, own a house one block into the ward? A house people might actually want to live in. It's a smart idea. Running headquarters from a church. I mean, it's illegal. There's that whole church and state thing. More illegal than nepotism? Well, nepotism isn't illegal. It's actually celebrated this in Chicago. Well, your daddy can put you on some commission where people don't have no say. Let you be a big boy, play with a few trains, but... Standing uh... the green line is the best thing for the people of the 18th Ward. Brings them closer to jobs, closer to culture. Those people don't seem to be the ones getting rich, though, Jack. And what about you, Jamal? What have you been doing to improve the lives of the people of Chicago? I bet your reputation's a real problem for your communications team. Maybe you don't want any of the communications team. I've never been arrested. <laughs> Let's see if you can say that a few months from now. Well, if you pull out now, you can save yourself some money. Ton of embarrassment. Come on, Jack. I don't pull out when it feels this good. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. Don't forget to vote on August 8th. Hey, absolutely. Hey. The election is on the 7th, Jack. Oh, I know. Why you want to go into politics anyway, man? Passing bills and shit, whatever the fuck they do. Alderman of this war makes $104,000 a year. Shit, we make more than a week. But then you add in the juice, right? He gives his friend a contract for a new building, gets a kickback. Gives his brother a contract for construction. Hell, he gives his mama a contract for construction. And that man was a piece of every fucking thing. And the only people coming after him, they got cameras and microphones. People coming after us with guns. I'm 37 years old, Jatam. I don't want this life no more. I want his fucking life. Harry Rawlings is dead. What are they gonna do with us? Hey, what? He took our money with him. Medical examiner say you can still ID him? Take off the teeth, maybe? Harry said he should burn in hell. But hey, Chicago will do. speaks foolishly, not merely because of the desirability of life, but because the same exercise at once teaches us to live well and to die well. Much worse is he who says that it were good not to be born, but once one is born, to pass with all speed through the gates of Hades. You are so beautiful, woman. <laughs> Because they didn't let me see the body. I couldn't take a body properly, Ma. I want to see it. I promise you will let's see it. You don't want to see his body. What's left of it? ¿Quieres algo de comer? ¿Algo de beber? No quiero nada de ti. Tú eres la razón por la que yo estoy aquí. Y Carlos ya no está con nosotros. Él 
Él se metió en esa vida por su cuenta. Lo hizo por ti. Antes de que te conociera, él iba a ir a la universidad. Tiene su sangre en las manos. What do you think of my new painting? Uh, yeah, the artist is really blowing up. I got in early. Got it for fifty thousand. Drink. Yeah. To the masterpiece. <laughs> yeah, so... Did you get him to concede? Go back to his normal business? Can let me tell you something. I don't want to see you become the first mulligan to lose to a nigger, especially this guy. He's tricky. Okay? He's staying in. But it's fine. Okay. Yeah. It's dealt with. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Dealt with? What do you mean, dealt with? Maybe you shouldn't have been such a hard ass. No, if you'd have just rolled over for the mayor on that housing development... I don't roll over for anybody. Okay? He had his agenda ahead of And look where that's got us. The lines of the water redrawn, and we're down 7,000 votes that would have gone our way. Now, you created this problem. Now we might be left without a pot to piss in. Oh, says the man with a $50,000 piece of wallpaper. It's art. It's wallpaper. All right. Wallpaper. Yeah, I said, what the fuck is up? Just the script. Get a couple bucks. Hit my brother up. That's the shit. Pick a couple of 30 hot. Put the telescope. That's the humble. Buckle, buckle up. Buckle up. Man, I do this for my God. If you this, then you gotta die. That's the simple fact, simple truth. I can never lie. Feel me on man. Let me see your hand. Chop it off. Let me see your chain. Think you got that at the shop and all my cinema. Or the game stop. Well, stop or say. Whole time caught the niggas in the back rapping. They cold, old job. Hey man, it wasn't our fault. They knew who we were gonna be. That shit was a setup. They had to be professionals or something. You let Harry Rollins get away with our money. No, that's not what I'm. I wanna hear what you were doing. Do it again. Hmm? Your music. Hmm? I'm not kidding, do it again. All right, let's get it. Yo, I said, what the fuck is up? This my script, get it? Yo. I said, what the fuck is up? This my script. Get a couple bucks. Get some rubber. That's the shit. Pick a couple up. A 30 box. With the telescope. Get your hubble up. Buckle, buckle up. Buckle up. Man, I do it for my guys. If you this, then you gotta die. That's a simple fact, simple truth. I could never lie. Dios mio, man. If we see your hand, we chop it off. Let me see your chain. Think you got that at the shopping mall. By cinema. What a game stop. That I shop a lot. I'm shipping malls from the same spot. The kids. Is everything taken care of? Yes, ma'am. I got the roses you wanted. They got three different dove gray caskets. You'd be surprised how much they want for those things. Wanna guess how much? No, no, I don't. I just wanna go. 
Perry said if anything happened to him, I should give this to you. When? Ah, uh, I, honestly, I don't remember. I don't remember things too good. Then he will see you face to face, and in your light will see light and know the splendor of God, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Harry Rollins. You never mess with me, I never mess with him. Be in different games. I always have respect. So why'd he hit me now? Well, I don't know why. Thinks you're setting your sights on something high, you're getting sloppy. Mrs. Rollins, I'm Jack Mulligan. I had the privilege of working with your husband a couple of times. He was a wonderful man. I'm so sorry for your loss. If there's anything I can do, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm not a hard man to find. And God bless. I wouldn't have liked it. The back home. Should I hide grave diggers? I don't think they have grave diggers anymore. I want you to give me the names of all the men that died with Harry. Jamal Manning. I'm running for Alderman of the 18th Ward. It's not the 18th Ward. Yes, but I'd like to have a word with you to discuss some urgent matters. No. It's not the 18th Ward. Get out! Come here, little fella. Because I didn't know your husband. I didn't know your husband. Not really. Mm -mm. But he stole $2 million from me. Stole it right out of a van like he knew where it would be. I just want to know why. I'm not involved in my husband's business at all, and I don't know why you're here. Hmm. Well, we won't take a moment to discuss. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mommy's got a big house. Yeah. See this? Still haven't read that. Everybody out there involved in Harry Rollins' business, as far as the eye can see. But you, you here living with him, and you not. I didn't work for Harry. I worked for the teachers' union. 
I understand. Criminals like cops, they don't bring their shit home. You have no idea, do you? Or did you choose not to know? It doesn't matter. Please join me. Oh, come on, I don't bite. Hey, what did they say about dogs, huh? They're the good judges of character. You see, that money was meant to buy me a new life. Help with my campaign, you understand? Listen, I don't have your money. Now, why, why don't you just go out and make this more? This is about my life! <laughs> this is about my life! <laughs> because it's about my life, it now becomes about yours. I told you, I, I don't know anything. No, and even if that's true, you have a nice penthouse here. You got a lot of nice furniture. You got cars, you got a closet full of clothes, none of which burnt up in the van, by the way. I'll give you one month to liquidate. I'll call the police. Mr. Lawrence, do you know what the police did the night that Harry died? Do you? They laughed. <laughs> they laughed over his melted burnt body and they scraped whatever they could into a bag and they went to a bar to celebrate because they give zero fucks about Harry Rollins' fucking widow. You're nothing now. Welcome back. So, uh, my money, one month. What the hell are you doing? How'd you get in here? Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? I'm calling the cops. They're saying what? That you're in my fucking store. That wouldn't be true. This is not your store. Obviously, your loser husband didn't tell you. You know it? Yes, and he knows this is not your store. I have a lease. I pay that shit every month. You gave that money to Carlos, and he spent it all in Arlington until the money ran out, and he couldn't keep up. Then he started paying it to us. Then he fell behind. Then he gave us the store. Or to be fair, we took it. It's like this. Carlos doesn't own it. You don't own it. The system. Fuck your system. That's my money. Maybe I'm not explaining this clearly. That's Carlos. He's dead. Dollars. I'm just collecting a debt here, ma'am. We should have loved you more and the bookies less. No seeing so. Mr. Rawlings, I wanted to say that uh, you don't have to keep me hanging around the way that Harry did. You don't want you can if you can hire someone else. If you want. I can't afford to hire someone else, Bash. I can't even afford to keep you. Uh, you don't have to worry. I can always get a job at working security at a bar part time. What if you keep the car? 
This car? Yeah, you drive me around, you get me back on my feet, and you keep the car. Well, where do you want to go? you a construction accident didn't put me in this chair but that did this is not your world use that notebook to settle the debt they might take it it's what harry would have wanted render unto caesar what is caesar's Mrs. Rollins. Albert Woodfox organized a chapter of the Black Panther Party in Angola prison, then spent 44 years in solitary. Yeah, I, I don't know if I have the adequate words to describe what it's like to be in a state of where nothing you do is going to change your situation. I went almost 20 years without any disciplinary reports. And it made no difference when I went before the review board. No matter how much you change, it makes no difference. Bash. I need those names. Yes, ma'am. Oh my God, it smells like a dead rat. I think I should get a job. Have what? A house cleaner? Serve coffee? Why would you ever do that? What else am I gonna do? I went from your home to Florida's home. Men are supposed to provide for you. Where did all the money go? I told you, Ma, we spent it. You wanted me to have a nice life. How much did you get for your things? Three thousand. What about the bike? You gave it to Florex friend. What am I going to do with a bike? You idiot! You never asked for enough. Maya, I should be like you and ask for everything like I deserve it. Drive my husband in the ground. Take care of myself before my children. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. I just don't know what to do. Such a beautiful girl I made. I want to show you something. It's an arrangement site. Now, let's see, these girls are smart. They go out one night a week and make as much as they'd make in a month at a 7-Eleven. And on top of that, if you're sweet, like you, they get bonuses, they get jewelry, they get treated like a princess. And they go to college. That's what I want for you, sweetheart. Is that so wrong? I'm not going to sleep with men I don't know. That ain't my life. What do you mean by that? Who the fuck do you think you are, Elizia? You forget whose roof you slept under when you were 16, 17, 15. So don't act like you're the fucking Virgin Mary. Those boys didn't pay me. Everybody, thanks for coming today. Today we are uh, we're standing on a vacant lot. But tomorrow, thanks to M. Wow, the minority women-owned work initiative my father started, 
This will be a thriving business owned and operated by the women of this ward. And it is my dream to continue that amazing work that my father began because this is the 14th business that has opened in the past three years. As long as there's a mulligan in office, there will be 14 more in my first term, I promise. But can I get an M wow? M wow. Can I get an M wow? M wow. All right, now where are my uh, where are my success stories? We got some success stories. Mr. Mulligan, you want to talk about the audit that just success came out? Stories? All right, let's. Uh, let's Perhaps some of your constituents would be interested in hearing about it. These women, they uh, they aren't just in business for themselves. They're in business for the whole community. Over a million dollars they have generated in the past three years. That's money that goes back into the community. It's money that stays here Mr. in the Mulligan, 18th Ward. An audit by the Cook County yeah, Comptroller shows over $5 million uh, in overages from the proposed and extension wow. of the Green Line. During that time, you were head of the CTA's commission, a position you were appointed to by your father. You can to comment on the contracts you awarded while serving on the commission. I'll see you on the 7th. Thank you for coming out. Come on, Thank Jack. You. Give me a quote I could use. What about the contracts you awarded while serving on the commission? All right, that's good. All right, that's what about the proposed Thank extension you. of the Green Line? Thank you. The Green Line should Jack. serve the people of this ward. Now, it can bring customers to business like this, and at the end of the day, it could take tired workers home. Without that kind of infrastructure, MWOW is just another empty gesture doomed to fail. You asked me about my father. My father taught me about this neighborhood. He taught me to empower the very people that this city has overlooked for so long. But I see you 18th, and I'll make sure the rest of Chicago does too. Thank you. Fucking scumbag McRoberts. When he ever just give up, he's been shit on the sole of my family's shoes forever. I wouldn't worry about McRoberts. I'd be more worried about the numbers. Your friend Jamal's no joke. Fucking Jamal. Tell me, have you ever slept with a black guy? Sorry? You heard me. Have you ever slept with a black guy? What does that have to do with Jamal? Or any? Just answer the fucking question. We're in a situation where you could lose everything. You've got the IG's office and the feds breathing down your neck. You got Jamal Manning climbing in the pools and. And all you're concerned with is whether or not your dick is bigger than him? What are we fighting for, this? I mean, you know how many shootings happened in this city last weekend alone? 34! These people are killing each other! This is not where I want to raise my children. What are we fighting for, exactly? I feel suffocated. I'm not, I'm not a mulligan. I'm my mother's son. God rest her soul. The shit she had to put up with from my father? I'm putting up with it, too. That's what adults do, Jack. I never wanted to be in this fucking business, and that's all this is. It's a fucking business. I just, I just want to be free of this shit. I can't take it anymore. Wake it's... the fuck up, Jack. You are not going to pussy out now. What are you going to do? Work in a bank? Take the train downtown? Punch a clock? This is your life. This is our life. It's what we do. Everyone has a fucking sob story. Most of them better than yours. So if the idea is to be mayor one day, you'd better man the fuck up. signs of empty promises. Anybody who thinks different will fool themselves with some God's honest truth. Thanks, John. I can't believe none of us have ever met. Are you sure we should have ordered champagne? She invited us. It's fine. So she didn't tell you anything else on the phone? Nothing. Just the time and place. There's one of you, Alice? Mm -hmm. Amanda? I'm Linda. Who's Amanda? Um, let's hope it doesn't matter. I'm Veronica Rollins, Harry's wife. You're Harry's wife? How'd you two meet? Follow me. Your husband's worked a long time for my husband. With your husband. How are you doing for money? Yeah. Tied you over. To what? How are the children? She's the one with the kids. They're fine. I 
of a business proposition. If you have a higher risk threshold. Listen, we're in trouble. It was Jamal Manning's money that our husband stole. Who's that? Somebody you don't want to fuck with. The money burned up in the van. And Jamal Manning, he wants it back. From us or from you? Harry left me the plans for his next job. It's worth $5 million. I take $2 million, give it to the Mannings, we split the rest. You want us to... Pull off the job, yeah. A million apiece. A million? No, maybe you have a secret plan or a special skill that can make you that kind of money. But if you don't, there's an address in the pads of money that I just gave you. Meet me there tomorrow at 11.15. What if we say no? She'll give them our names. Eleven fifteen a.m. P.M. It's not easy. I have kids. I don't want any trouble. Listen, our lives are in danger. Our husbands aren't coming back. We're on our own. Now I'll be there tomorrow. I hope to see you there. So, what has happened in the world that normal now passes as excellence? When did we lower our standards? There seems to be no expectation to go above and beyond what one might know or might want to know. It seems people are blissful in their own ignorance. How far have we fallen? Indeed, how far have we fallen? We are living in an environment where people are blind. What you don't see, you don't know. Out of sight, out of mind. So now ignorance is the new normal. In fact, ignorance, ignorance is the new excellence. The less you know, the more seemingly you gain. Not to care is deemed to be smart. When you subtract love from any equation, from any situation, from any location, the result is always hurt and pain on all sides. That is why we need to bring love back into the equation. Love. In Jesus' words, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So he can hear you on high. Stay with me. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Even when it ain't easy. Even when you've been done wrong. This world got you down on your knees. Love thy neighbor as thyself. All right, amen. No. How are you, my brother? Reverend Wheeler. I'd like to introduce you to Jamal Manning. Jamal? Yeah. You know that's Arabic for beauty. <laughs> and it is beautiful to see you. It is so good to meet you, Reverend. I've admired you from afar. Well, now you can do it up close. <laughs> <laughs> Take a seat. Take a seat. <clears throat> How about I go first? Please. Now, as of the last poll, you were down by 12 points. Now it's nine. Margin of error could be seven. Could also be 11, too. Thought I was going first. The election's in less than a month. If I was a doctor, I'd be telling you to get your affairs in order. And three weeks from now, you won't need a doctor. You'll be asking someone like me to give you last rites. So says you. So says me. Exactly me, the guy with the largest congregation in your ward and an even larger outreach. Now, I've known the Mulligans since I became a pastor. Well, he's not helping anybody. Like I said, I know him. Huh. So you're endorsing the Mulligans. Can we go now? I didn't say that. Look, the ward has been redrawn. The Mulligans weren't playing ball. For the first time, someone like us has a shot. I'd be an idiot to ignore that. I'm gonna cut to the chase here, Reverend. I'm in the driving seat. I just don't have a set of wheels. All I need is your endorsement and your contribution to help me get across the finish line. How much of a contribution do you need? And what's it worth to you? 
You mean worth in terms of funding. I can fill you in on that, but what matters is that you're with us. Well, someone's ears are burning. Gentlemen, let's discuss this further another time. One always must weigh out options. Jack Mulligan, how are you, my brother? No, you know me. Praising Jesus, as always. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And school is good? I gotta get back to work. Can you put your grandma on the phone? Mommy loves you. Hey, Mom, will you put her to bed for me? I'll be back as soon as I can, all right? All right. Bye. So, I asked her how did she know it was true? And who told her? What the hell was that? What'd you call me? You deaf? Motherfucker, goodbye. What is going on? Who is that and what does he want? I don't want to talk about it. Rashad, are you in trouble? I said I don't want to talk about it. How long am I supposed to be under this thing? Thank you. I'm sorry about all that. No, it's all right. Everything all right? Mm-hmm. I really don't think this is a good idea, Mrs. Rollins. Uh, You must be Alice. You look just like you. Take that as a compliment. Have a seat. And you should. Although, I gotta say, you're even more stunning in person. I'm David. David. Just David for now. Can I get you a drink? Definitely. Yeah? Vodka box. Okay. Excellent. Are you from Russia? No, I'm Polish. American. My grandma came over, but I just like vodka. <laughs> Excuse me, can you get Alice here a vodka rocks, please? What are you drinking? Just ginger ale. Have you done this before? 
I'm not really sure what you mean. If I said no, what would you say? Uh, I would probably say something reassuring. Okay, do that. Okay. Well, Alice, I feel lucky to have met you tonight. And hopefully in time you'll feel the same way. Cheers. Since 5 30. I have. Hello? Bailey, it's okay. Come here. Come here, baby. I can take the bus. I'll be there in about 20 minutes. Come here, sweetie. Cabs are a little hard for me. 20 minutes. Baby, you just got home. 12 bucks now. I gotta take it. Bailey's been waiting for you all oh, night. Please. At least let me fix you something to eat. I'm gonna be back. Julian's building, designed by Yaver and Dinkelberg, 523 feet. How do you know all that? I told you. I developed buildings, big ones. Some you can see from here, some in other countries. That one? That one is a hotel. You want to go? Look, I promise, uh, I'm a nice guy. I used to be married. Two years followed by three shitty ones i work 80 hours a week and i miss the intimacy i miss the way women smell the way they talk you want all the good stuff not the bad don't you bell city sitters hi i'm linda come on in it'll only be a few hours don't worry i'm fine hey i'm bell I'm gonna be hanging with you while your mom does what she's gotta do. I've got one of my own. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Okay. Well, the kids be good, okay? <laughs> with the child like vision sleeping into you. Click and clacking of the high heel shoe. Hello. The clothes, can I help you? I'm here with a few questions. It's about Harry Rollins. I bet you heard he stole from the men, but. Bill, score one for us, huh? I want you to tell me why. What makes you think I care about your wants, huh?
So once again, why did he do it? Please, wife, no. She doesn't know anything about anything. The ventricle? Hmm? She's got his notebook. Look, he just get the notebook. What I want with a notebook. Here he was all school. Wrote every single detail of every job down on paper. That ain't gonna help me. It's all in there, every contact, every bribe, the last job, the next job, down to the fucking piss breaks, okay? Bullshit. She has it, I swear, all right? He swears don't mean shit to me, though. <laughs> I have an OQ order right now, so your time is very fortunate. Huh? Ow! You'll we'll find out you're lying to me. There'll be an unfortunate act of God, my nigga. You fucker! We can't do it, the two of us. It's over. She's a flake. Just give her five minutes. Why? Because our lives are trickier than yours. What's tricky about being on time? If she can't show up... What the hell are you wearing? The condom. Look, I'm here. I didn't have to come, but I did. We're screwed. You know what? If you don't want to be here, then maybe you shouldn't. There's a door, in or out. Out, and you take your chances with the Mannings in, and there's no going back. How do we even know what in means? Why should we trust you anyway? Because I'm the only one standing between you and a bullet in your head. Because I wouldn't ask you to do anything I wouldn't do myself. Leave, and you're on your own. I'm in. And, like I said, this next job is worth $5 million. From what I can tell with Harry's notebook, the money is either in a house or an apartment. So the first thing we're gonna need is a van. Don't you have a car? It's probably a nice one. The car is registered to Harry, think. I'll play a van. Good progress. Well, what do I do? Find out what this is and where it is. What? How am I supposed to do that? By being smarter than you are right now. Listen, we'll work out what we need and we'll take it from there, all right? We'll meet here Wednesday, same time. And I expect these items to be off the list. Well, I'm gonna need transport money. Clones, use only an emergency. This is for the guns. Guns? Three Glocks, ammo, two, no more than $2,000. Me? From where? It's America. Olivia, come on. Jacket? No. I think she's crazy. Yep. She's got money. Might as well see where this goes. Now this one looks good, but you're going to be at the mechanic all the time. What do you want this for? Here's what I need a van. Good pickup, low miles. Got the white van, got the white van. Look, buy this one. Wait, which one? This one. This one. Now you're, you're going higher than what it's worth. A lot higher. Well, do what I ask? Then it's not too much. My boss is kind of a dick. Sold there, six thousand dollars, forty-seven. Buyer, forty-seven. Bought it, six thousand dollars. <laughs> So, uh, where are we going to go celebrate, huh? Gold Chevy. I'd say it's a 1200. That was my first auction. Mm -hmm. Jennifer Christie. Can we please have it delivered? This is in Grandpa. 
How do you go to a car auction to get a car and you don't know how to drive? No, they just gave it to you right there. I can't think of everything. When I assigned you a task, you're supposed to complete that task. You were meant to drive. We're already one person down. Now I have to ask Bash. Who's Bash? Harry's driving. Well, can we trust him? Well, we have to know. Why don't you ask Linda? Because there is a plan. Just shut up. How much you pay for it? Six thousand. The point of an auction is to spend less than what you came with. It was a good deal. Why your dog shit in my lap? She's house trained. We have a lot of work to do. Crying isn't on the list. Mom, why do we have to go to Lita's today? Because she loves you. I know. This was designed by your firm, and I was wondering if you could tell me where it is. I can't, really. What about who designed it? Wait a minute, let me, let me ask him. Designed by Delia Foster. Thank you. Uh -huh. I don't understand. I'm sorry. I, I'm hoping I could get your help to buy a gun. This is hard, Emma. I say male or the bride. When I arrived, my husband, he took my visa, passport, everything. He beat me always. I finally left. I had to for my babies, but he's worried he's going to kill me. I can't go to police. I'm illegal. I want the gun just to feel safe. I have cash. I know what I need. Will you help me? Mom. You always say a gun is a girl's best friend. What do you need? Three Glock 17s. That's a lot of firepower. Oh, I want one for every room. Mr. Foster? Yeah. Hi, I'm Annette Castillo. I work with Bridges and Getty. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I, I don't think we've met. Um, I'm new. I, I work mostly as a secretary with Miss uh, Christina Glickman. Uh-huh. I, I think I know her. May I come in? Oh. Um. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I was trying to get in touch with your wife, Delia. I have a few questions about some projects. I have a client who would really like to speak with her. I think you should leave me. What? Why? I'm not interested in talking to you or whoever sent you. Obviously, you're not with Bridges, as everyone there knows. My wife died four months ago. I am. Um, I'm 
sorry. I'm so sorry. I asked you to go. I lost my husband two weeks ago. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Anyway, she's probably gonna make me walk the streets of Chicago until I find this place. Leave him with me. What? Leave him with me. Come on, there, stop. So hey, wrong as get some sort of diary. I had to write shit down longhand. What kind of shit? Plans, people, details of how he robbed us and who was next. He's a woman, has it? You sure? Easy enough to find out. That notebook could lead us to some big money. You do not touch her. I don't need that type of heat. Don't touch her. She got two weeks to pay us back. If yeah, she don't. She's gonna need more than a notebook to bargain with. Hello? It's Welsh. Bobby Welsh. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, uh, have you given up that notebook? Yes. You yeah. have? Good, good. That's smart. That's smart. Are you sure you're okay? Yes. Thank you. And thank you for calling. I have to go now, Mr. Welsh. But, well, listen, if there's anything... are you gonna do? I'm gonna beat his gay black ass. I'm ahead in the polls. It's a six-point lead and it's falling. Is he gay? He doesn't have 5.1 million question marks around his name. Should never have taken the appointment on the Green Line Commission. Bad optics. You and your dad should have known better. Green Line seems to run right through your own personal cookie jar. The fuck out of here. You don't believe that shit. Jesus Christ. Trains are expensive. So are swimming pools and paintings and, and I work hard. He's got four kids at the last and the jack. You what exquisite ex-wife. That's not exactly the uh, adjective I'd use. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I'm, I guess, I'm not going to stay around for the rest of the math list. I'll see you all at my uh, victory party. You can beg me not to have the IRS audit any of you. Jack. Yeah, Jack, come why? What, come on. You still got my vote. Yeah, I won't need it. Yeah, come back. You cocksuckers. <laughs> Hmm. What a baby. Morning.
Never thought I'd marry a white man or a criminal. Fucking me won't make it better. Don't make me feel like my only regret is having a child with you. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe you should have had him with someone else. Then he'd still be alive. just comes in waves, you know? Sure, sure. Yeah, I can do that. I wasn't trying to be rude by not turning up to the spa. I was just scared. Maybe. I don't know. A lot of things. Scared. Sad. What do they say about grief? How many stages? I'm not sure which one I'm in. Maybe I was even angry. I got the impression from Jimmy he wasn't so sure about this one. Thought Harry was getting sloppy. Harry was never sloppy. 30 years of doing what he did, not one mistake. I guess he was human after all. So what did you want to talk to me about? I just wanted to know how you were since losing your husband. I'm a single parent of a four-month-old baby boy. How are you coping on your own? Getting through it. What are you gonna do? Look for answers, try to figure it out. Well, I hope he left you enough to start over. Maybe go somewhere else. Super Bowl ring? 1985 Bears. You played for the Bears when they won the Super Bowl? Hey, ask me. Did Bash Baby Act win the Super Bowl? I don't believe he did. No, it was a birthday present from Harry. Mm -hmm. I want you to help me get Harry's notebook. I don't have it. I know you don't. She has it. Who? Veronica, Mrs. Rollins, your boss. And you're gonna agree to get it for me. I don't, I don't work for her. She don't have any money. She doesn't have any notebook, as far as I know. <clears throat> Get that motherfucker two-piece spicy. Oh, no biscuit! <laughs> <laughs> 
Mrs. Rawlings, we have an envelope for you. There you go. Bash, what's going on? What's going on is you have one week. I thought we were going out. I thought so too, and then I saw you. And I decided we should try being late. Leave him. What are you building a safe room? A what? This. It looks like a. It looks like a safe room, a nice one. You can tell that just by looking at the plans? Yeah. You can tell me where it is? I know a guy who could find out. If you're really asking that. arrangement exclusive. I think I'd like that. It's been dead a month. Why are you being such a bitch? You're being a cunt. Don't you say that word to me. It's appropriate. You're being a cunt. A friend lets a friend know what you're You're not a friend. You're just a stupid girl with nothing in your head. I'm not stupid. And why don't you keep your legs shut? David is going to help us. Help us do he what? He thinks the blueprints are a safe room. He's going to find out where it is. Idiot. You're a cold old bitch. <gasps> I'm done being treated like shit. Not again. Not by you. Not by anyone. They killed Bash. Who did? The Mannings. How do you know? I know. I'm not Harry. All this damage, I, I can't be responsible for all of it. Why do you have to be? Because I don't own anything. Not even the apartment I live in. I have nothing.
We can't tell Linda about that. She'll back out. You need to find us a new driver. That's not easy. Well, don't you know anyone else? No, I'm working on it. What have you been doing all week? She's had a rough time. Yeah? They want to repo my home. My bitch of a mother-in-law wants to take away my kids. Well, what's your kids and mother-in-law have to do with me? I gave you one job and you couldn't even do it, so don't tell me how to do mine. If we fuck this up, I know what the consequences of this shit look like. Have either of you ever been to a prison? Once. I didn't think so. Six days. Find a fucking driver. Veronica. Can I come in? Did you call? No. Can I ask you some questions? Oh, sure, of course. Let me, um, let me put Albert in his room. Albert. Beautiful. Okay. Can I put my dog down? Of course. Actually, not a very good time for me. The baby is really fussy today. Did Jimmy tell you about anyone else? Someone who could drive a job? Veronica, what are you doing? Someone with some skills. Maybe the person who prepped his cars. You need to leave this alone. Uh, sorry, I got it. I'll be right back. We should have left sooner, like you said we would. You always want more. Medical examiner friend open his mouth yet? Not yet. But he wants his money. Even dead bodies cost money in this economy. What about that detective scumbag fool? Uh, he's just happy that you'll never show your face in Chicago again. He's retiring a wealthy man. You know, your guys went a little heavy on the accelerants. I was lucky to get away with half of that. I want the full amount, Harry. One million like we agreed. I thought this was about stopping the Mannix. Don't think you can fuck me over like you did your crew.
I want that money. I can get your money, but I need time. Before the election. But if not, you're going to be alive again in all the worst ways. taking the car and you didn't say anything mom heard dad dad ask her mom heard me how is it my fault if you left it in the car how are you can i just bring it home to you later dad i'm really about to miss like half the game about to turn around now I'm not saying it's more important than your anniversary. I'll be there in like 15 minutes or something. Oh. Oh. Dad, dad, dad. I, dad, I, I just got pulled over now. Dad, I, I, I gotta go. Get out of the car, keep your hands where I can see him. I gotta go deal with this. Marcus! Marcus! Oh, Marcus! Hands where I can see him! Look what I found. So I have to go to Shanghai for a few nights. There's a site we're thinking about developing. You want to come? To Shanghai? You ever been? Uh, no. Not when? Tomorrow. I can't. You can't? I got commitments here. I can't just drop everything and fly to Shanghai. My life's different than yours. It seems to me if you can ask me to get the address off the permit, which I did, then I can certainly ask you to ditch your commitments and fly with me to Shanghai for a few days. Or do overseas adventures cost more? Is everything just a transaction? They brought us these drinks. Next, they're going to bring us a bill. It's the way the world works, as far as I'm concerned. Sorry. Next time. Is that the one? Thank God. Sounds good. 
It's almost done. You hungry? Yeah. Mom, can I set the table for Belle? Yes. You don't have to run, you know. Don't worry. I'd rather be here on your dime than sitting on that damn bus not making any money. Belle, can you drive? Why? It solved our problem. What's this? This is Belle. She's fast, she's smart, and she can drive. Come on, we can't do this, the three of us. We need a driver. This is not your place. Please ask her to leave. I'm standing here. You can talk to me. I don't know you. You don't have to. I'm happy to leave right now. Wait, we need a driver. Your girl's happy to split your cut. Split our cut? It's equal or nothing. You vouch for her? I don't require a vouch. We're gonna need another gun. I got my own. You need to watch how you talk to me. If you're in, we need to get you started right away. Someone? You never can be too sure in this neighborhood. My gosh, how many security guards do you have? Oh, just the one. The neighborhood's really changing. Yes, it is. Would you mind waiting here? Yeah. Mr. Mulligan should be free momentarily. He's in a meeting. Excuse me, can I help you? I was just looking for the bathroom and I was just admiring this map. Sure. And you are? I have a meeting with Jack Mulligan. Ma'am, there's a restroom downstairs. I can show you the way. Tell you exactly why I fired your campaign manager. He told me we would get the endorsement of Wheeler, and now the good Reverend has decided to sit this one out. Well, he doesn't get to do that. Oh, well, let me get this straight. You fire Hillsman. He's been working with our family for 30 years. So you just put a bullet in him. You know, when the polls dropped to what? 3%? Why? Why? I got a new guy coming on, black guy, British. Black guy. Oh, really? A black guy. Gavin Cunningham. What? G Gavin Cunningham. Well, fuck me and fuck him and fuck you and fuck the fucking horse you came in on, you fucking asshole. What a fucking asshole you are. Talk about loyalty. Hey, 
Maybe I'll call the mayor and tell him we've got to have this election tomorrow before things get any worse. You'll call the mayor. I will, I will take care of Manning at the debate, and that'll be the end of it. And might I add, running in your shadow would be a hell of a lot easier if there weren't piles of shit scattered everywhere I Keep want. Keep your fucking mouth shut off, fucking whip your ass. Today! And I can still do it. Believe me. Okay? Uh, JFK, huh? You think you're going to make things better? They're not going to be any better. You think you're going to change things? Change them to what? You're not going to change anything. They'll never change under you. The only thing that matters is that we survive. That's all. Look around you, it's like custers, like standers, kill or be killed. Now listen to me, son. Listen, we made this city. We're not having it taken away from us by people who come here illegally or by people who can't stop, you know, making babies. And that means staying in power at all costs. You got that? Listen to me, Father. I'm looking forward to the day when all this bullshit is over. And I don't have to talk to people like you. You know, because... Because you won't be here anymore. Whew. My son. Mm. Boy. Uh. You finished? Yeah. Okay. Now hear me. Tell your redheaded paperweight here to call Hillsman and hire him back. Okay? And you can make this. Gavin, whatever, whoever, your debate prep consultant. You need to pick up your toys, put them back in the box. And when you're done, we will continue this conversation. Hey, get the door. My jacket. Who are you? I'm Veronica Rollins. We met a long time ago when I was lobbying for the teachers' union. Uh, well, I hope you can teach my son better than I did. Mrs. Rollins, I, I don't think you're on my schedule today. I'm not sure I have the time to sit. You do. You absolutely do. She's from the teachers' union. All right. Yeah, let's go. We're leaving. Sorry to interrupt. Mr. Yeah. Mulligan, uh, take the car to the garage. I'll be back in a few hours. Sure, John. Just see Siobhan before you leave. Ms. Rollins, please come in. Seen him at the salon. When was the last time you saw my husband? Before he died? It's a while. I can't remember. Why do you ask? Jamal Manning threatened me. He says Harry stole from him and he presented me with a bill. He wants his money. I'm not sure I follow. From what I understand, we both have a Jamal Manning problem. You don't... You don't live in my ward, Mrs. Rawlings. But if you're aware of a crime, you should really go to the police. Mr. Mulligan, you said whenever I needed help. Now, your family's been involved in Harry's life for many years. When I say help, I, I mean... I understand, but... I'm not my father. As you can see, the years have taken a toll on him, and I do not want to go down that same road. So with much admiration and respect for your late husband, and yourself, of course, I don't see what I can do. What I've learned from men like my father and Harry is that you reap what you sow. Let's hope so.
It's that guy who was here in the suit. Who is he? I told you I don't want you to get involved. What do you mean? He works for someone. So who really owns the salon? How is that any of your business? What doesn't bother you, doesn't trouble you. Mm -hmm. Jack Mulligan. She empowered me. I am a female minority business owner. But the powers that be take a very healthy cut. So why do you stand for it? Where exactly would you like me to stand? I needed money to start a business. He gave it to me, and now I owe him. No bank was going to give me any money. He did. All I want to do is have a business of my own. And this way, I'm allowed to think I have one. Does that sound right to you? Because it doesn't you got sound a right to me. customer right over there. Two of the three cameras at the back are covered by the construction. Mm-hmm. And what about the codes for the safer? Veronica's on it. Why isn't she here? Why are we doing this by ourselves? Know. Why are we doing this anyway? Wait, who's watching your kids? My mom. So while you were sitting her kids, your mom was watching your daughter? I've got two jobs. What do you do for money? I had Florex. I had a business. Did you know what they did? I thought I did. If I asked, he'd hit me. After a job, though, he was nice. What about Veronica? You think she knew? I bet she knew everything. You girls happy to split your cuts? <laughs> what about this? You vouch for her? <laughs> She'd be a lot nicer if she just took that stick out of her ass. <laughs> you know why we need a new driver? The last one was killed. So if you're not serious, if this whole thing goes wrong, I just want my kids to know that I didn't sit there and take it. I did something. Our go date is in three days, the night of the debate. Now, all of our work is worth nothing if we don't move this money in fast. The notebook says $5 million. That's exactly the amount of money Mulligan was accused of taking in commission kickbacks. So over here, we have $2 million, 20 Tupperware boxes. Each box is $100,000 in $100 bills. It weighs 44 pounds. Now, over here, we have $2 million. 40 Tupperware boxes. Each box has $50,000 in $50 bills. It weighs 88 pounds. I feel like I'm in school. Tell me about it. Okay, Linda, that bag has a weight of $2 million in $100 bills. Put it on. All right. Run to the back of that van and back. This is nothing. All that for this? Now, uh, Belle, that was easy. put that on. Watch right, your back. No, bend your knees. Okay, run to the back of the van and back. Whoa. Come on. Come on. It's not funny now, is it? It won't be if we get caught. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, run. Get this thing off and Now, that bag had double the weight of before. Why the fuck would you do that? Because I had to think of the best case scenario and the worst case scenario. We got to move fast. We gotta start thinking like professionals. We're in business together. There's not gonna be some cozy reunion. After this job, we're done. We have three days to look and move like a team of men. The best thing we have going for us is being who we are. Why? Because no one thinks we have the balls to pull this off. your question as long as I can answer it and still get to my meeting how can we ever go to your place my place that's your question I'd like to see how you live I could cook you dinner we could watch some TV look I really really like you Alice I don't think I've ever been this happy with a woman I truly do care about you. I really do but I'm not your husband no you're not
Look, this is an arrangement, okay? It's not a marriage. I pay for things, and out of that, you get a nice life. I don't need you to have a nice life. Look, if I ended things right now, what would you do for money? Excuse me? My money, the way I live. I'm offering you a nice life, Alice. You see life like it's yours to offer, but it's mine. It's mine to be ashamed of or be proud of. Mine to fuck up or make good, it's mine. I don't have time for this right now, okay? I have to go. Can I drop you somewhere? I'll get where I need to go. over. If it was a mistake. I know the codes change every day. I need those codes, Ken. <laughs> I thought it was off the hook. Now Harry's dead. It'll be the third time my alarm systems get hit. People are asking questions. You should have thought twice before cheating on your wife with your niece. You made a choice. Now I'll go wait at the gas station. If you drive away, I know you're out. If you come to me with the codes, maybe you have a future. Please, I'm begging you as a human being. Please, I can't. Podría imprimir el documento. Podría imprimir el documento. I'd like to Me gustaría dos poles. The polls say you're going to win. So before you come out swinging at the debate tonight. What if I stop spending money on advertising? You know, level the playing field, so to speak. Stop making appearances, scale back my get out the vote program. Make some calls. Jamal Manning, the first African-American alderman of the 18th Ward. And I'll be there to advise you on every important matter. Behind the scenes, of course, as far as everyone else is concerned. Jamal, you the man. Think about it. <clears throat> I'm not offering you charity. I'm offering you power. On whose terms? You decide. See you at the debate. I want to send my best to the Reverend Wheeler. Everybody ready? You got the coach? Something goes wrong. You're all on your own. I'm gonna go get ready. You all know me 
I'm a proud sixth generation Chicagoan. We laugh louder, we work harder, we sleep to the rattle of the L train. <laughs> Hey! Hey! Let's go. Taking my money? Who the fuck are you? Let me have the gun. Get him off me. Get him the fuck off me. It's a shame.
is a city that is free fall. Money, greed, average, fat cats in city hall getting fatter on our meals. We, the people, are not people to them. We are a mass of ugly needs they don't want to see. Let us have a chance at life, not just to exist, but Get him, bro. You call that motherfucker out. Let us live. Yeah. It was meant to be simple. Why couldn't you just sell the book to Jamal and leave it at that, Ronnie? You're not supposed to be here. You left me alone, you evil bastard. You want to start a new life with your, your, your new son, your new white, happy family. I couldn't save him, Ronnie! I couldn't save us. I, I had to save me. Me. That fucking coward. I need that money, Ronnie. I need the money.
celebrations in the Mulligan camp as Tuesday's election results sink in. In a late rally, there was a resounding victory for Jack Mulligan, seen as a sympathy vote following the murder of Alderman Tom Mulligan. Reverend John Wheeler was outside the Mulligan residence this morning to talk to reporters. Brothers and sisters, we ask that you keep Jack Mulligan in your prayers as he tries to find the strength with God's help to begin his term of office and to continue the program of change initiated by his beloved father. I know you remember all the good work the Mulligans have done for this community, so we hope that you will join us Sunday. We will be holding the service for Tom Mulligan to pay our respects to this great servant of our war. Mama, can we go now? Okay. I too. This okay? Great. There. Can I get you something to drink? Nice some coffee, please. Are you okay? Huh? Yeah. Anyway, they were like, I'm already putting it out, and so John's really frustrated, so he's gonna put the lawn chair in the kitchen chairs. Mrs. Rollins, I was surprised to hear from you. Listen to me. Underneath this table is a bag of money. I want you to use that money to help me build a school library. All I ask, name it after Marcus. Is 
Too measure my pain. 